since the tornado hit, many people have been asking, how can they help? Well, today the city of Andover invited volunteers to sign up. As Alexis Padilla shows us, droves of people showed up. She explains how you can make an impact. As soon as 10 o'clock this morning, people were lining up here at the United Methodist Church to sign up and volunteer, many of them waiting over an hour to do so. A lot of the volunteers say this is just what Kansans do. The community is behind these people. We're all pitching in to help and do what we can. More than 200 people lined up Monday morning, ready to do their part to help Andover rebuild. It's pretty powerful, and I think uh, it just proves how strong and um, committed our community is to each other, and uh, I'm really proud to be part of it. Many knowing it could have been them. The tornado was literally an eighth of a mile from my house. We just barely missed our neighborhood, but it hit neighborhoods nearby us. As soon as the tornado struck, Lori and Patrick Loney knew they could not sit around. We knew that we could go on a deployment with the Red Cross, so we called Jamie instantly and said, we're ready. The couple Monday loaded up with food, drinks and supplies. The Red Cross emergency rescue vehicle ready to hit the road and help people cleaning up the aftermath of the tornado. We've never experienced something like this. You know, you always see the aftermath of a tornado or a flood or whatever, but to actually go in and help the people, you know, with, you know, talk to them, give them, you know, food, you know, reassure them that people are here to help them. Giving people hope while they hope others join them. To be able to say, hey, we're going to go help some people that are hurting. When you get to help somebody, you're being selfless. So I think that's why we need to be here. Volunteers will be back here at the United Methodist Church starting at 7 a.m. tomorrow to get official assignments and get to work. Here for you in Andover, Alexis Padilla, KSN News 3.